I am the man in the mirror. Anything you see in me is in you. And when you can admit that, you will be free. I am just the mirror. If you look at the song Man in the Mirror, it says, I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. And no message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. Everything is your fault. And when you truly grasp that, and I mean truly grasp that, it's like you break the handcuffs that are on you. It's, it's this blaming everybody else on your circumstance. When you take those fingers and point them back at yourself, it's liberating. It was probably three, come probably getting close to three and a half years ago. I was, I was kind of at that turning point in my life. Um, I had had some failures in sales. Um, I was a financial advisor right out of college and, and was extremely successful doing so. And a long story short, with a crazy occurrence, I, I was terminated from that job uh, and, and lost what, what I thought was gonna be my career for the rest of my life. And that kind of sent me down this spiral of one sales job after another to where I was ultimately scared to go all in. I was scared to really put a full effort into it because I thought it could just get taken away again. Just was completely, completely, completely content with playing the victim and just wasn't taking ownership for anything at that point. I was just content with just like, hey, all these things happened to me. You know, my wife had an affair. I got terminated, you know, wrongfully from this job. Like, feel sorry for me. And I'm just gonna sit back and be lazy uh, and not do anything about it. It was always this big victim card. You know, oh, well, I'm here and I'm doing this, but listen to all these things that happened to me. I was fired because of this and it shouldn't have happened. And I had this great career and, and then, you know, this happened and this happened and this happened and it was always talking about the negative, which only, you know, it's going to create yep. more negative. And so you're exactly right. It, it, for me, it was literally looking in the mirror. Yep. Uh, I know, I know it's, you know, figuratively, but I was literally looking in the mirror and I'm like, okay, something's got to change. Yep. And the encouragement there and, and, and what's exciting about that is if, if you got yourself into the situation, if it's 100% your fault, if you got yourself to where you are, then you can get yourself Boom. out of it. Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest boxers of all time, you know, if you ever read his book, he, he said something that used to stay and stand in front of the mirror, and you guys probably heard this, and he used to shadow box shirt off, and he'd say, I fly like a butterfly, I sting like a bee, and we, we're familiar with that part of the story, but what he also used to say is he used to say, I am the greatest. And he believed that, he said, if I believe that if I started to tell the world that I am the greatest boxer of all time, that I would convince the world that I'm the greatest boxer of all time. And we look at that and we say, well, that's pretty cool. It, arguably so, he became the greatest boxer and he, and he convinced the world he's the greatest boxer. But the part we miss a lot of times is who did he convince more than anybody? He convinced himself. He convinced right. himself. And so many times our words steer the direction of our lives. At the end of the day, this is who you have to answer to. That guy, yourself. And can you look at yourself in the mirror tonight? Can you look yourself in the eye and tell yourself, I did everything I needed to do today. I gave absolutely all that I've got today to get me to where I wanna go. If you can, that's awesome. You lay your bed, you lay your head on your bed and you go right to sleep. If you can't, then what? You gotta do better tomorrow.